Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So before I show you another antique object, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you, um, my followers, my subscribers, for supporting me for all these years, all these months, all these weeks. Um, the people that spend time to write me comments, I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, I do want to say one thing before I go on. Um, I've noticed recently, well, actually over the past month or so, YouTube has been placing a lot of the comments that each and every one of you write in something called a spam folder without me knowing. And I'm not finding a lot of your comments until like a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, sometimes not at all. And a lot of times it's a really big pain in the rear end to have to keep checking this particular folder that they seem to be thinking that a lot of your comments are spam. Now, I don't know why they're doing this, but I don't like it. And I apologize to each and every one of you. If you write me a comment and you don't get a reply, it's because sometimes, like I said, they're placing it in some kind of spam folder and not letting me see your comments until I check this folder which is not something I do every single day. So if you're not getting a reply, it's not because I'm ignoring you. I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you and I don't care about what you guys write. I actually appreciate each and every one of your comments and love when I see a comment from you guys. So thank you for understanding. So if you don't get a reply within a day or two, sometimes uh, three days or four days, I'm not ignoring any of you periodically I'll keep checking that spam folder so um, having said that let me just show you something now I've made a video about this probably like a summer or two ago and back then I didn't have that many followers and all my new followers probably haven't seen this but I thought this was quite interesting so what I have here is probably something from the 1870s or the 1880s and I am NOT an expert in embroidery or quilts or textiles but I believe this is what's known as stump work and back in the Victorian era ladies really didn't have much to do now they didn't have YouTube videos to watch <laughs> they didn't have TV they didn't have radio to listen to they really had nothing to do besides housework rearing children and tending to their husband's needs so what did they do they had to have hobbies to keep busy and one of them was to make beautiful embroidery pieces. And um, this one is actually quite stunning. So what we have here in the center is a biblical scene. And back in the Victorian era, people were a lot <clears throat> more religious than they are now. People had a great sense of community. And a lot of people back then were God-fearing people. And so in their everyday life, they included biblical scenes. Now, I believe, now, I am not very religious, although I consider myself a good person. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I don't know the Bible very much. I should know. I should uh, study it more. But I believe this is called Rebecca at the Well. I did some Googling. And uh, it was a scene in the desert where she brought this guy, I forgot his name, <laughs> um, some water and she became like a dutiful woman and she was like actually a great wife i think he married her i don't know you can google uh rebecca in the well if you'd like to but uh nonetheless look at all this hand embroidery and there's a lot of metallic thread going throughout this piece and velvet and all sorts of like linen and textiles there's also beautiful colored hand dyed fringe going around the piece and I thought this was really quite lovely that some lady just sat around her fireplace sitting here for days and weeks and months completing this. And uh, let me show you some of the gorgeous metallic thread. You can hear the cicada bugs. I call them cicadic bugs <laughs> in the background. Those big gigantic winged creatures. They're making their chattering sound. And it is August after all. They do come out in August. So this is the back. And it's a beautiful red, ruby red fabric with the fringe going around it. And this was made when, in, in the time when the sewing machine was invented. And I think the sewing machine was invented sometime in the 
1850s or the 1860s, if I'm correct. Don't know. I have to Google that too. But nonetheless, a lot of this is hand embroidered and hand sewn. And again, we have the dutiful Rebecca carrying the water for this gentleman who ended up marrying her and she became like a dutiful wife. That's what they called women back then, dutiful. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like a big woman's liver. I like the fact that my husband earns more money than I do, so I don't have to work as much. But nonetheless, I'm not gonna go burning my bra anytime soon. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. And once again, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for all your comments. And thank you, if you can, for giving me a thumbs up. Have a great day.